Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the sweep feature in Onshape. And as you can see on the screen we have four challenges to work through. I'm going to start off on the Emerge challenge which is the easiest challenge. I'm going to create a sweep using a single path as you can see in the top right. So what we've got on screen you can see a number of different tabs along the bottom. So we've got this tab here which gives us a quick overview of the different activities and also if you click on the YouTube symbols okay that will give you the link to the video tutorial on YouTube. You've also got the tab here which gives you some extra information if you want to access other resources and tutorials. We have the drawing for this component or part that we're creating as you can see and we also have a completed part as a reference. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the plus, create a new part studio. This will appear in the tab at the bottom. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to rename it okay, tutorial. And what we've got here is the drawing. So if we start with this circle, that's going to be the profile. So it's 30. I'm going to create a sketch on this front work plane. So press N for normalize, C for circle, select circle at the top. And it's important to snap okay, your profile if you're starting from scratch like this okay, to the origin. Because what you've got to understand when you're doing a sweep or a sweat feature is that the path for what this circle is going to follow okay, have got to intersect. They've got to basically intersect each other. They've got to be sort of glued to each other if you, if you get what I mean. So we'll see that as we uh, create the other okay sketch so that's fully defined so it's black we're going to go up to sketch and click on the top so now we're going to create a path and the path is going to start from that origin so therefore it's intersecting that profile that circle and i'm going to draw a line up like this and i'm just going to briefly okay draw now it's really important as you can see here when I'm drawing this, okay, it is sort of waking up some of these features here, which mean this horizontal line is going to, okay, be the same length as this one here because I'm I'm sort of making reference to that point, and you'll see what I mean shortly. So I've just drawn this here like that, and what we're going to do is dimension this. So I've got it to draw in again. Each vertical is seventy-five millimeters. So let's have a look. So next thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each of these verticals here and just go to my reference. Yep. Okay, let's have a look. And what we've got is we've got one, two, three, four lines. I've actually created more than I need. So I'm just going to delete that. So it's important that you make reference to that drawing. And what we're going to do is select each one of these, sorry, like that. And just to save a bit of time, I'm going to use, okay, the equal. That means all of those verticals are equal. So therefore, if I now dimension one, okay, each one of those is the same size. Now I'm going to dimension, say, one of these horizontals to be 60. And because when I was drawing, I was making reference to some of these, okay, points and lines, that's now a fully defined sketch by just using those two dimensions. Just going to save that sketch and have a look at what we've got. So I'm going to name this one, so right click and name that one profile. And I'm going to name this one by right clicking on it path. Like so. And what we're going to do is going to go up to sweep. So sweep gives us a few different options now. So the faces or regions to sweep. Okay, so that's my profile. I can select it there. Okay, so here, profile, or I can actually click it there as well. The path is this path. Now, if I click on here, you'll see that it, I can select these individually. Okay, so I can just create sort of a part sweep if I wanted to. However, if I click on off all of those okay I can just go on here and click that path and it will select all of them at once 
Now what we're creating is new because this is the first feature within this part. Okay. We're not adding to anything. We're not removing that from say other geometry or parts and we're not creating an intersect. Okay. You could later on, okay, when we look at surfaces, you could you create a surface, okay, using this, but what we want to do is create a simple solid. And if we click on the green tick, okay. So what we've got here, if I just turn these off, okay, and turn the origin off, we've created our first part. So you can see what's happened is that the, the, the profile, which is a circle, has followed that path, okay, all the way up there and has created that design. And again, any of these, okay, the path or the profile, all right, can be changed. You can right click on these and you can go edit and you can decide that you want to change the dimensions here okay and it would it would then update and the same if you wanted to change your profile okay you can go edit update that 30 so if I update it and show you so if I change that to 10 you'll see obviously it's got a lot thinner because I've changed okay that diameter if I go and do we'll go back okay so that's the first one done the other thing we could do as well is we can right click on this and we can assign a material and we can assign say ABS and if we go to the original one, the one that we were trying to copy or create, we can go to the mass, we can click on it here and it's a 0.357, got to mass on this one. Okay, 0.357. So we know, okay, because we've applied the same material to both, uh, that that's been created using the correct dimensions, okay, and the correct options within the feature. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.